How did an ebook with just three downloads become an award winning, record breaking, number one podcast phenomenon? Listen to this episode to find out. Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast, 10X Podcast, the show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to the Content 10X Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and today I'm sharing the story of how a virtually unknown book written in a garden shed reached a global audience through the power of repurposing and the medium of podcasting. This is the hilarious and eye-opening story of how repurposing your content could help it reach people in ways you never expected. We all have expectations for our content, but when your content doesn't perform in the way you expect, do you give up or do you look for opportunities to reinvent it? Now, I'm sharing the story of how one underperforming piece of content surpassed everyone's expectations and became a cultural phenomenon with millions of listeners and diehard fans worldwide. This is the second instalment of our It Started With Content case study series, all about the power of content. The stories that I'm sharing look at how the act of creating just one piece of content can grow into something truly spectacular. It'll also be looking at what sets the content and the creator apart and what we can learn from this journey. Now, if you're a comedy fan or a podcast listener, you might have heard of the cult podcast, My Dad Wrote a Porn. No, now it sounds worse than it is. Don't worry, I'm not about to start talking about porn. It's actually a comedy podcast where three friends discuss an erotic novel written by one of their dads. Now, even if this doesn't sound like your thing, the story is quite something else. It's top podcast charts for several years. It's consistently been in the top 10 Apple podcast charts for comedy podcasts. It's 33rd in the overall Apple podcast charts right now, and it really is hilarious. Now, I've spoken on the podcast before before about the story of My Dad Wrote a Porno because it is such a fantastic example of repurposing. If you want to check that out, then go check out episode 37 of the Content 10X podcast. But in this episode, I'm going to dive into more detail about the podcast's crazy journey. I'm going to talk about exactly why it's been so successful and why I believe it's a true example of best practice repurposing. So let's rewind to 2015. Jamie Morton had no idea that his dad had written and self-published a book on Amazon until he asked him to read this book. Now, Jamie obliged expecting some kind of spy novel and he imagined his shock and horror when he realised his dad had written erotic literature. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd curl up in embarrassment at the thought of reading one sentence of something erotic that my dad wrote, but Jamie probably did the most British thing that a young guy would do. He called up his two friends, Jamie, James Cooper and Alice Levine, they met in a pub and read the book and they were laughing so much it hurt. The book was so bad, it was brilliant. It was the funniest thing any of them had ever read and they decided that they had to share it. So with an eye for repurposing, they decided whilst it was never gonna be a best-selling book, they'd repurpose it and they started a comedy podcast. Now they started by repurposing the book one hilarious chapter at a time into 30-minute podcast episodes, not wanting to beat around the Bush and for comedy value, since it was a comedy podcast, they called it My Dad Wrote a Porno. Completely makes sense that exactly what it was. Now, Apple Podcasts weren't particularly happy about this title. Unsurprisingly, it actually took the podcast a while to get listed, but once it did, the word spread about this dirty book club and their podcast downloads grew and grew and grew and grew, and it really took off. Now, Jamie and his friends, Alice and James, are no strangers to the world of entertainment. Jamie is a TV director, James is a producer, and Alice is a radio and TV presenter. But even they couldn't have predicted how successful the show would be. 
On the My Dad Wrote a Porno website, it says that the podcast has been downloaded more than 280 million times. It's been the number one podcast in the UK, number two in Australia, number 16 in the US, while peaking at more top 10 positions across Europe than you would ever imagine. It's also been nominated for multiple awards and in 2019 it won a Webby Award. But what made the trio decide on a podcast in the first place? Now in an interview with BBC News, Alice said they chose podcasting because it was the simplest and easiest way of sharing the story. She goes on to say, as the podcast following grew, so did the ways that Jamie, James and Alice engage with their audience. They launched merchandise, a big range of t-shirts, mugs, greeting cards, published an actual My Dad Wrote a Porno book, which includes the original erotic materials as well as the presenter's commentary and much more. And get this, the book repurposed into a podcast went a step further and was repurposed into a live stage show. And they took it on a sellout tour all over the world. They also hosted an HBO TV special and the world's largest ever live podcast at the Royal Albert Hall. And to think it all started with one piece of content that wasn't actually very good. Jamie Stad, who goes by the name Rocky Flintstone, had no idea that this all could come from asking his son to read his self-published book. He perhaps hoped it would become a best-selling novel, but instead it took a completely different path. And when Jamie first read the book, it had only been downloaded three times on Amazon, and now millions and millions of people have heard this wacky, hilarious tale that was written in a garden shed. In an interview with The Guardian, Jamie was asked what his dad thinks about his story being shared with listeners worldwide. And he said, I think my dad is actually happier than the day I was born. We brought it to a global audience. Now he wanted it to be read. I mean, my mother didn't, but he did. Hey, just a little break from this podcast episode to ask you a question. Would you like one single place that you can go to that provides you with everything you need to be able to implement the best practices in content repurposing for your video content, your podcast episodes, and your social media content today? To help you get more value from the content that you create, get more time back, and help you reach more people than you ever thought possible. If so, then you are going to love the Content 10X Toolkit. The toolkit is full of video tutorials, templates, checklists, swipe files, step-by-step -step guides, and more that shows you how to repurpose your content in the best ways possible today. No more Googling, no more figuring it out yourself. We provide you with everything that you need to become a content repurposing pro. If this sounds like something that would interest you, then go check out the Content 10X Toolkit at content10x.com forward slash toolkit. Okay, I'm back to this week's episode. And what's more, Rocky is still writing. That original piece of content has spurred even more books, whether Jamie likes it or not, which of course he does, since it's the fuel that has taken his career in a completely different direction. The trio record a new season for every book and so far they recorded five seasons and for their stage shows they use Rocky's Lost chapter so it doesn't overlap with the podcast too much. They even get the audience involved pulling members up on stage to recreate scenes from the book so there seems to be no end to the My Dad Wrote porno repurposing opportunities and these three certainly know how to make the most out of them. The story of My Dad Wrote a Porno is certainly entertaining and what I really love is that it's a story of repurposing. It's a story of being able to see the potential in content and being able to think creatively and work out that content can be so much more but maybe it needs to take a new life. The format might not be quite right, maybe the packaging isn't quite right but there's something there. So if we just think about it, how many of us really know what opportunities might come from our content? Now, I'm not suggesting you go out there and create deliberately bad content or you try your hand at erotic fiction, but I do think that by considering your repurposing opportunities, your content could grow into something you never expected in ways you never ever anticipated. Now Rocky's erotic novel might never have found success if Jamie, James and Alice hadn't taken the opportunity to turn it into a comedy podcast. 
It was only through repurposing into a new medium that the content became appealing to a huge audience. Now I say this a lot, but repurposing is as much a mindset thing as it is a marketing approach. You need to be able to view content with repurposing in mind. And I think the real lesson here is to be open-minded about your content, because what you expect to happen might not actually be its best chance of success. So if you have content that's maybe not doing as well well as you'd hoped or it's doing well but you know there's more potential in it then maybe it's time to put an entirely new spin on it and see what could happen. Thanks so much for listening to this week's podcast episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I also hope it's inspired you to think about your content in a new light. Now do let me know if you're enjoying this new It Started With Content case study series. Maybe you could leave a rating or even a review. I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, if you haven't already done so, then please do check out my book, Content 10X. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble and more. Just go to content10x.com forward slash book. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm at Content 10X on all the social media platforms. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you in the next episode. so I hope you enjoyed that discussion and thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy the Content 10X podcast, then why not hit that subscribe button on your podcast listening app of choice so that you can get updated when new episodes are released. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you could leave a review as well. That really makes a difference for the podcast. Also, please do get a copy of my book, Content 10X, More Content, Less Time, Maximum Results. It is the ultimate guide to repurposing every type of content and it's available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback and also in audiobook as well and you can head to content10x.com forward slash book to find all the other places that you can get a copy of my book and if you would like us to do your content repurposing for you then we offer a fully end-to-end done for you content repurposing service this is for podcasters and video content creators we have our podcast 10x video 10x and also our specific LinkedIn 10x service, helping you to become the leading authority in your industry on LinkedIn. You can find out so much more about our services on our website. And also please do give me a follow on the social media platforms. I share lots and lots of tips and advice on social media about content repurposing. I'm at content 10x on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And if you try content10x.com forward slash LinkedIn, you'll find my LinkedIn profile over there as well. All that's left to say is thank you so much for listening to this week's episode and I'll catch you in the next one.